Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a different kind of video today. Um, it's not an ASMR video. I'll just check if I'm recording and everything because it would suck if I have to restart the video again. Um, <laughs> I am doing a video in which I will be talking about just general stuff, um, life stuff, um, I guess my experience leaving the education system. I have been on a access to science course for well almost a almost a year almost the whole duration of the entire year of the course. Um, however, I quit about a month early so I've basically wasted a year. <laughs> Which isn't really a problem because I've wasted many years in the education system. Um, I'm kind of... I don't really regret it because it gives me a lot more time um, to kind of be myself type thing. And to relax and put a lot more time and investment in both working and doing things like writing my book or books that have got spoilers I've yeah I've got plans <laughs> um but I a part of me will always regret the decision to leave so late on in the course because I was only six assignments behind but I mean it sounds it sounds easy when you say six assignments but it was um, six single page lists of about four sub assignments or four tasks, um, which when you kind of add that workload onto the fact that I was starting work as well, or indeed I'm starting work tomorrow, it's a lot of work to do. It's like, it would have demanded pretty much all of my free time and I was getting constant resubmit assignments and um, or assignment resubmissions um, or assignment resubmission requests I guess you could say and I just didn't feel I could make the timeline which is understandable in my opinion because I was probably one of the most ahead was probably one of the most um, on time students in the whole class at the cost of I'll admit it probably my mental health um, because of sleep deprivation and I used to u leave the tasks till last minute however in my opinion if I did do my tasks in my um, kind of if I did the tasks during the day I wouldn't really be able to focus on them because there would be too many distractions because I have to have a social life and I have to relax and unwind and things like that so I don't really regret quitting education in fact it's probably one of the better decisions that I've made in my life um, I mean, it doesn't mean I'm quitting for good. I still have the opportunity to retake this year in university instead of college, which will be a much more, um, a much more professional environment with actual scientists <laughs> as opposed to tutors who are trained to teach science, I guess. So there will be a lot more focus on the students and there will be a lot more focus on the actual education itself because some people there are, play, are paying literally thousands and thousands of pounds to do the course instead of hundreds I believe it costs to do the college um, version of the course so they have to do the job and I've heard very positive things about the university I'm going to or might go to if 
if all goes well. Um, one of the main reasons why I quit was a lack of kind of evidence support um, for students and f for me particularly because I, I I don't need a lot of support in general because I tend to fix things myself and fix the course like the coursework it myself and fix my own mistakes um, so I just needed a small amount of fixes to the coursework um, in order to pass however I wasn't really able to do so like I said my circumstances changed I started well got put in the list to start work and I'm starting work tomorrow and it's kind of hard to break cycles like I've got cycles of applying for jobs like I should have applied for jobs probably about two hours ago um apply for a list of about five or six jobs in various different fields online and kind of get paid for for that but it's weird to kind of not having to do that anymore um It's also weird not having to wake up for college and it's weird having so much free time I guess um, I'm yet to <laughs> yet to apply it constructively because I've not been feeling too good today but I know that there's always the chance that I can do something new with my time or do something interesting with my time um, and actually maybe accomplish something I burped, sorry I have a lot of time to focus on um, on projects, start new projects I've got about three or four projects that I've got going right now three or four main projects and a good few that are on hold as in, and that's not including the SMS. so yeah I might begin education soon I shouldn't oh, I shouldn't be working too many hours because um, I should be working about 16 hours a week maximum well I said maximum really weird maximum <laughs> um, It's just Pepsi, don't, well, Dr. Pepper, zero, don't worry, it's sugar free and alcohol free and things, even though it is in a wine glass, I'm not sure if I showed it on a video before, um, <laughs> I think I should probably talk about some projects now, it's not an update video per se, it was going to be a vlog video, um, so I guess <laughs> I've got a weird list of things to buy um, but it's good to say that I can finally afford to buy them um, I'm so itchy today oh, it's so gross I have to buy some fabric some cardboard, um, a trench coat, <laughs> which is going to be interesting to explain to my parents. Um, I think I need like a glass jar, I think. Um, a whole bunch of PV ugly, like, seriously, a whole bunch. Super strong scissors, knitting needles, uh, LEDs, mm. 
a really weird mix of things. Um, I can't go into the details because I kind of need the new camera to start the project because it's something I don't want filmed on this little cheap thing. I kind of want filmed on a on a bridge camera at least, not a DSLR camera. I can't afford that. And I kind of don't really want to be <gasps> the stromatolite fell. <gasps> it's not broken, don't worry. I'll I'll put it on the bed so it doesn't fall. There. Um Yeah, I, I could never afford a DSLR on my wedge. Well maybe for like five months saving or something. I wouldn't know how to use it, but that's irrelevant, kind of, I don't know, I'm rambling, um, what was I saying about the secret project, <laughs> if you follow me on, I believe it is, um, I'll follow what I do on, where is it? Um, I'll find it. Hold on. Uh, on the Facebook group, I am ASMR. Um, you'll kind of see hints of questions and things like that um, to do with my projects. Ah, oh, I think I need to pay my room and stuff. I don't like the color anywhere, but I think you need to paint it for the video. I don't really know. It's a complex project. <laughs> and extremely nerdy. <laughs> um, okay, that project aside. <sighs> What's the other one I want to do? Oh, there's a project that I'll reveal called um, Soundscapes, which is kind of, I mean, I may produce the image myself, or I may, um, that was not <laughs> attractive first, <laughs> um, I may probably download a, a royalty free image. But it's where I create or find an image and use nothing but my voice and things around me, perhaps. I'm not sure. Probably just my voice. To um, kind of create the sounds or create sounds associated with the thing. So it should be interesting. I think I might have to edit this video down. In fact, now that I've mentioned editing, I probably will definitely have to edit the video down. <laughs> uh, what? The Gobos Crazy Pons still haven't came. Oh my god. I wish they would. But they haven't. And I need a haircut because my hair's getting really long. There's another project I'm going to do today, but I'm not telling you that, because, shh. <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk about any of the other projects, so, thanks for watching. <laughs>
turn too steeply and yeah it, it was gross I think everyone no it was probably just stubble rash or something that's wrong